Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge Episode 2. Today's episode we'll be trying to get to um, Petalburg City. Right now we're in Route 101, we're gonna head uh, northbound through Odell Town and to Route 103 trying to get to a wild Pokemon and look what we found, we found a slow poke on this, wow. Hmm. Uh, I said all Mountain, but I was thinking about Slowpoke's really a decent Pokemon to find this early. Um, the, you know, it knows Yawn, Curse, and Tackle at that level. It's level 4 right now. Off the bat, it's gonna know that. And, um, you know, you use Yawn on the first turn, and your opponent falls asleep and such, and then you can Curse one turn, get the power boost, and then attack them the next, and you'll actually be attacking a little better than most normal types actually would with a, uh, I think, Tackle it has. But uh, my video skipped again there. Looks like. Sorry, guys. We got Slowpoke and S Tradition. We're gonna give it a name. And after my good friend, uh, who I battle with sometimes on here, X and Y, I am not using a D, but actually I am mean, making that name. Kim! Um, go follow Kim. Uh, her Twitter is at KimPlaysPokemon. It's in the description below, but she's gonna be the Slowpoke of this adventure. Um, I am going to just basically be naming my Pokemon after the first YouTubers that come to mind um, as I catch them. So I guess it is kind of an honor, even though you're a slow book in this sense. <sighs> sorry, Kim. It sucks. Sorry. Alright, so we're going to heal up here real quick because I don't want to risk having um, Kim die already just starting off. And it's always nice to kind of try to stay at full health here. So I'm gonna head back outside, and we're gonna go back into Odale, and we're gonna actually come on west this time, on the way to Piddleburg City. If you wanna look at the team real quick, we have my Heracross, and my Slowpoke, um, Toast, and Kim, and I switched to uh, Kim in the front first. But, oh, wow, Lapras, shit, fucking nice. Alright, so we're going to send out Kim here, and I'm going to just start right off with a Yawn, as I mentioned before. It's a really good strategy with a Slowpoke. Um, if you're playing Little Cup, you want to always try to get the fastball to use a Yawn. You um, then set up on your second turn and your third turn, because the first one you'll take a hit. You should be able to withstand it, and on your third turn, it'll be asleep or switch out, and you'll be able to set up another curse. And after that boost of the attack and defense, if you're against a physical attacker, you can just, um, you can either, uh, tackle, or you can yawn again on the switch out if they do switch out. It's a really solid strategy. I use Curse here, and Lapras is falling asleep now. So I'm gonna Curse again, just to get the extra boost, which is always nice. So my speed falls and attack on defense go up a stage when I use Curse. I am going to actually start using Tackle now. Lapras wakes up and it's going to use Growl on me again, which is really going to defeat the Curse, one of them. So I'll be at minus one right now, I believe. And it's not going to do that much. I'm going to have to switch out to, Her to uh, Toast. i got to stop calling him by the freaking Pokemon name. Toast, come on out, Toast. That's your real name now. So he's going to use Water Gun on me, and that's not going to do too much, about 3 damage, I can take 8 more of those. So I'm just going to use Horn Attack, try to get as much damage off as possible. He's going to use a Water Gun. I'm going to start lobbing Pokeballs at him now. I don't know why I switched there, sorry guys. Pokeball, go! Come on, big money. No, no money? Alright, you want to be like that? Fine. Gonna growl at me now? Okay, you can do that. You wanna be like that, huh? So I'm gonna throw another ball at you. Take my Pokeballs, bitch. There's more in the lab if you want some more Pokeballs, little bitch right there. And I call him! Him, him, it's a him. It's a him! It's a boy! Lapras' data, transport Pokemon. And as normal, we will nickname him. Now this is after um, at Fenrir underscore Ferris. 
Um, follow him on Twitter. His Twitter is also in the description below. And um, I'm going to just name him that because once again, he's the first one that literally came to mind. So his name is Ferris. And it came to mind because Lapras is a fairy. And even though your name is somewhat unrelated, I figured it might be a good idea to just kind of associate the two. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to be uh, doing this kind of stuff a lot. Throughout the week, I'll be working on the videos in and out of schoolwork um, and such. So, please stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel below. Give me a like and a comment if you want. But really, just subscribe so I can get these videos to you. And you can see them as they come out and not have to wait for me to tell, tell you they're there. You'll be able to enjoy these a lot faster. And there's going to be a lot more to come. And I wrote the Ring series. I'm currently editing and recording those. I do have a new layout plan for those too. So please, when that does come out, give it a, a look at. And please um, enjoy that as well. If you have Pokemon with you, you're an official Pokemon trainer. You can't say no to my challenge. Fortunately, I have to listen to you, even though you're a snot-nosed little kid. Youngster Calvin. I'm going to send out a Poochiana here. Go, Kim, go! And I'm just going to set up with Yawn. That tackle does about, what, three damage there, so... That's not going to be too much of an issue. If I can get him to sleep, I can set up a couple curses. He's, he's uh, hopefully going to tackle again. And, oh, no, 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 no! Don't make your attack higher! Please, no, I can't lower your attack! No, 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 no! But uh, I did have the Yawn off before. So that curse is going to um, raise my attack and defense. He's going to fall asleep. Oh my god. If you guys ever get to see the 23 ounce cans of Arizona, go get them. They're pretty good. Even like the half and half zero or whatever. Or the, uh, there's a mango flavor, I think. I forget which one, but there's like a strawberry kiwi too. Um, they're pretty good. I would get them, definitely. And that's what I've been drinking throughout this video. But I'm just going to spam tackle until it kind of is about to wake up. And I'm gonna try to figure out, I guess, um, if he's gonna stay asleep, but uh, he doesn't. So yeah, Yawn fails, and me being a dumbass is gonna use it again. I mean, he wakes up this time and it works. But I, I'm not really, I wasn't really paying attention at that moment, and actually I was distracted. <laughs> uh, 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 girl. Um, yeah, uh, anyway. Not that there was a girl next to me at all, and I was talking to her or whatever, but I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the on again. Uh, when I focus enough to actually, yeah, pay attention. So, at this point, I've gotten attention back, and the girl walked away because she had to go and do some class or whatever, or whatever. Anyway. Besides the point, uh, failures included. I'm gonna just keep spamming tackle. Um... He is going to stay asleep this turn, so I'll get another one off. Come on, Kim. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him, Kim. Puchiana wakes up, and it's going to use Tackle on me. And that's going to do a three more damage to me. Same as it has been doing because of all the curse boosts I've had. Even the plus uh, two from Hal, I beat that with a plus two from... Um, on defense from curse so I should be good on that front and I do win that battle now, this is really stupid here but I'm gonna use a potion when I'm literally feet away from a Pokemon Center so I'm gonna have to go with those two mostly and I'm going to I'm actually gonna go west from here let me think actually yeah no I don't know should I maybe maybe not I don't know guys uh, let's look at my Pokemon real quick um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have to put Ferris in front because I don't want him to be under leveled, even though he's weak right now. So what I'm probably gonna do is switch him out. I haven't really decided if, depending on what since I think it's a Wurmple this guy has. Um, if I'm not mistaken, he has a Wurmple. And some other Pokemon apparently. All right, Wurmple. I'm gonna kill your Wimple. So right off the bat, I'm just gonna go and use Sing by Ferris. Uh, Ferris, of course, misses for whatever crazy reason. He has to miss on that first turn. 
But I get the second one off. And he's gonna be fast asleep. So I'm just gonna use water gun a couple times probably. Dun 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 dun. I gotta probably get two off and then try this thing again. Alright, so he wakes up here. He's gonna hit me with tackle. And I'm in danger zone. I'm not risking that shit. Nope, nope, nope. Out, you're coming out, Toast. Come on. Come back, Ferris. You ain't dying on me yet. I just caught you in the same route. But yeah, he's gonna keep spamming that tackle. And I am just gonna go in there. I'm gonna be like, bitch, you little worm. I'm gonna ram my horn up your ass. And I just realized how vulgar this video has been. Sorry, guys. But anyway, I do get the kill, and he levels up. Oh, no, he doesn't. I lied. Um, he experience share. His experience goes up, and I'm just like half tired right now, so I'm sorry. I keep saying things wrong. He's gonna send out another Wurmple. I see you got the whole diversity thing going here, man. But hmm. Down goes Wurmple. One hit. Um, that was really, you know, the Wurmples in this game are like the Weedles in the past, except they have abilities now, and you can get poisoned. But in the past generations, it's like the basic Pokemon, you, you know, you attack the thing, it doesn't really do much to you, you just kill it. Caterpies and Weedles of Hoenn are, are uh, Wurmples. <laughs> Excuse me. But we're gonna head up now, and there's another guy. I, 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 wanna, I wanna avoid him, really. Um, so I'm gonna try to make a left before I actually get in his eyesight. But first I'm gonna switch uh, Ferris to second slot because I just don't want to risk losing him. If I forget to take him out, he's gone. Ah, the guy saw me, I forgot to turn. Crap, 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 I don't want to battle you right now. Thanks a lot, Alan, really. Youngster Alan, can't you just go back to school, all you stupid little kids, please? This is big boy land. I mean, I got a thing with a giant horn in its head. It's gonna kill you. And I don't know why I used horn attack. I didn't use horn attack there, but I didn't use horn attack. <sighs> Which means I'm not gonna get as much damage as I wanted off on that thing. Yay, experience! And he's gonna send out a tail out. I don't know if it's really safe. Hmm. Gonna horn attack, and I'm gonna get a lot of damage off, not quite as much as I wanted to. So that's not a plus, but at least he doesn't use a flying move on me. It's always a really good thing. So with Talos in this generation. I feel like they're built off the bat to dismantle Brawly's gym, which is the second gym, it's completely fighting. I, I, you know, it, it kind of just feels to me that he's tr they're trying to make it so you can beat that gym easily. So if you notice, in the forest you find a bunch of grass types, and in the island, um, and in the roots going to the island where Dewford is, you find a bunch of flying types too. It's, it's kind of like, really guys. You go to Dewford and in the cave you get ground types, which are, guess what, good against the third gym. But here's a wild Pokemon again, and uh, Blissey here. <sighs> Fat ass. I could have caught you too if you didn't freaking get a crit. killed it because I actually can this time with no remorse Blissey you die and I don't feel bad so I'm gonna come right in the good old Pokemart and uh, I, I'm, I'm gonna pick up a couple Pokeballs here and after that you know I'm low on Pokeballs I, uh, and if I have one that's hard to catch if I randomize something with a low catch rate I really don't want to run out 
And I'm also going to pick up some potions so I don't have to scramble and hide my Pokemon from my, my enemies. Um, don't forget, in a Nuzlocke that I'm playing, I am not using items in battle other than Pokeballs. Um, no health items in battle, I should say. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. And please tune in next time. Um, subscribe below. There'll be more videos to come. And guys, just enjoy the rest of your week, alright? Week, weekend, wherever you are, whatever day it is, whatever time it is. Just have a good one. Thanks, guys.